Hey everybody, welcome back. We're today we're doing more Scarlet and Violet speculation. Um, I've had some thoughts, really just like a, like like very very few thoughts <laughs> on some things that I think might get better, um, just because of like wider distribution or like the way that the mechanics are going to change um, going into Gen Nine. At least initially, um, there's a few things I think are going to get like better. So I just wanted to talk about those things. Um, and that's pretty much it. I got a hurricane hitting here tonight, you know, wish me, wish me safety because that's how the state goes. Um, it doesn't look it's going to be too bad. I'm not too worried about it, but you know, if you want to wish me some safety in the comments, I wouldn't complain. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go ahead and jump right into it here. Um, so I just have a list of mons here that have things that I think are going to be really interesting. Um, I was actually on Helping Hand with Barrett C9. Um, I think that's their name on Twitch. I don't actually remember. I'm really bad. Oh, let's look at it. Let's look it up. Let's see. Yeah, Barrett C9. I was on their their stream yesterday, <clears throat> and we were in this uh, this showdown server, which is actually just got removed last night. But they were like using like the confirmed dex list. You could just use it with terrestrialization and stuff. It was interesting, it was fun to mess around with. Um, but we were looking at Order Choreo, and the way that Revelation Dance works is it becomes the type of whatever the primary type of your Order Choreo is. So because there's you know four different Order Choreos, they all learn Revelation Dance. The Electro one gets electric, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. But <clears throat> if it changes to match your primary type, when you terrestrialize, it should be the type that you terrestrialize to. So Revelation Dance becomes better than Terra Blast. Revelation Dance is better Terra Blast because it's base 90, so it's stronger, and you can use it when you're not terrestrialized because it'll always work. So I don't know how good Aura Choreo is gonna be. Honestly, I think it might be kind of neat because you could, you know, do like the dancer, um, quiver dance stuff. And there's always a good chance that we get more Pokemon that have quiver dance, but. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I, I don't know. I just think it's interesting to think about, like, Revelation Dance is, it's based on, I know it's not listed here because <coughs> the move's not in sorted shit. Let's, uh, actually, let me change it to Nat Dex. Uh, that one. Let's see if it gives me the description. Yeah! Type varies based on the user's primary type. So, yeah, so, um, it's, it's like a normal type move if, like, the effect of it wasn't working, which there's no way to, like, turn off the effect of moves at this point in time. So it'll be electric type, or fire, or psychic, or, or ghost, depending on which form you are. And then it'll change, it should change to your terra type. So it'll, like if we were, yesterday we were gonna go terra water just for water coverage on our team. But it wouldn't let us use revelation dance because it was set up as a gen 8 format and revelation dance doesn't exist in gen 8, which is kind of really dumb, but <clears throat> it only doesn't res exist because all the Pokemon that learn it aren't in sword and shield but whatever um yeah that's just something to think about like i think th this move like inherently just becomes better it's better terra blast if you're using or choreo which i know sounds funny but i think i don't know at least early format you can do some funny stuff with or choreo dancer like quiver dance stuff something to keep in mind the next pokemon i want to talk about is basculegion and it's not really because it it's it's actually so it's the ability rattled i think rattled <clears throat> gets way better because Basque Legion has it. We have very, very few fully evolved Pokemon that have the ability rattled. Um, really, it's just Alolan Persian and Basque Legion, and Alolan Persian is is already so fast, like it doesn't need it. <clears throat> but Basque Legion has base 78 speed, so like if you beat up or really anything, you could do it. Um, I mean, you could U-turn if you want, but if to trigger weakness policy, let's say it's beat up. If you beat up into your Basque Legion and get a weakness policy and a boost here, that's like four hits. You don't need any speed investment. You'll go from 98 speed to that's um that's gonna be three times. Jesus Christ! <laughs> You're gonna go from 98 speed to like um like 200 and. 64, which is just ridiculous. That's so much speed. <clears throat> and that's probably not even right. Well, hold on, 98 plus 98 is... Um, okay, yeah. 
yeah, 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 264 speed. That's a, that's so much speed, right? No, because it'd be 80. Oh, 200 and um, 300. You hit 300. 294. 294 speed. God, it's early in the morning for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> So you can roll up with your 240 speed. I think the female one's better for this just because um, you can just do like shadow ball, whatever stuff. Um, you can do it with the male one too. They both have rattled. But I think the female one will be better for this because the male one is more immediately offensive. So this is better to run like a bulky set on. <clears throat> but you you know, roll up with your 294 speed Basque Legion and just absolutely shred things because you are very bulky. You don't need to run any speed investment, and now you have a weakness policy boost. And if you do it on the special attacking stat, um, it's a lot harder for them to lower. That's why I think the female basket legion is better. Because, I mean, the male one could just get intimidate spammed. Um, and then on top of that, you can terrestrialize to, like, ghost or whatever. It just hit even harder. I, just, I think that's just really cool. Um, yeah, so I think rattled might get better just because basket legion has it. And honestly... Any other new Pokemon, if we get more fully evolved Pokemon with Rattled, it could be a good ability. The only reason it's bad right now is because we don't have anything to take advantage of it. Everything is little babies that we don't want to use. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Um, the next one, I know there's an Avalug, but that's a little bit of bait. Um, <clears throat> um, this should go without saying, but without Dynamax, Protect, and Wide Guard, just get a whole lot better. Especially with Terrestrialization, there's a lot of Pokemon that are just going to like terrestrialize click stupid strong spread move wide guard all right cool i got wide guard i don't care um and this came up with me like playing with barrett c9 yesterday um we were we were using colossal and i clicked like rock slide and um eruption from torkoal on the same turn and my opponent clicked wide guard and i just didn't even consider wide guard as a possibility on the mod they had <clears throat> so that's pretty neat <laughs> But yeah, Protect. Protect going to be like way better because you can use it to scout out ter Terra types, which I think is going to be really important. Um, make sure that you're not going too fast when you're playing through these games. If you need to take a turn to figure out what their Terra type is, like if you think they're going to Terrestrialize and you're not sure what type it's going to be, just Protect for a turn because they can't hit you. Like there's really no reason and then you just get information and then you have more information than your opponent. And then for his Wide Guard, yeah, there's a lot of things that are going to Terrestrialize and just like click Strong Spread Move especially at the beginning of the format. So I think Wide Guard's going to be, like, really, really good <clears throat> for getting around those kinds of strategies. So just keep that in mind. These are these are, these are are two good moves now. They're going to be even better when Gen 9 starts. Like, keep these, in your, keep these in your back pocket. Next up is Colossal. And Colossal hasn't been good because of restricted Pokemon. So going from, you know, like Series 12 or whatever to gen 9 it's gonna be better but i think i w we were using it yesterday <clears throat> and because at the beginning of the format the speed tiers are gonna be so much lower um we were able to run max hp max attack colossal i don't know why i did that please we were able to run max hp max attack colossal with weakness policy steam engine and like be an adamant nature and we tear it to grass type can do that. Ooh, I can do this now. Grass. We terrestrialize the grass type. And um so we had grass type Terra Blast, which was I wanted to run solar actually I think we were just running solar beam. Because we had sun. Oh my god. What did I do? I whoa. Hello? No. I just messed up everything. Goodness gracious, I am so sorry. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Is the caps lock off now? Okay. I don't know what I hit, but I must have hit FN. We're running like solar, because it gets solar beam. So we start the grass type, and we triggered ourselves with just like, um, fast uh, Arcanine with, um, what's the move? It was Flame Charge. So our Arcanine got a speed boost, our Colossal got Steam Engine and Weakness Policy, and even though we weren't Terra Rock, we were still doing tons of damage with Rock Slide, 
because you keep your stab. <coughs> so it's still stab rock slide. We become grass type. So we don't have any of our old weaknesses. And um, we, I, I swear to you in one game, the Colossal took like, like two close combats. <laughs> Switching to grass type, it was insane. It took two close combats and was still alive, <clears throat> which is just crazy to me. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think because like Colossal has a reputation for being kind of frail. Like you Dynamax, you get your stuff right, but like then what does it do? But with this, Colossal has a lot more utility um, because you can become a better typing. Like Rock Fire is not a good defensive typing, but if you give Colossal a good defensive typing it's kind of nuts so that's something to keep in mind i think i think it'll be neat <clears throat> maybe it'll be a little gimmicky at the beginning but i think it's gonna be pretty neat um and then like i didn't put anything here but <clears throat> the last thing is really just anything with a spread move um the other thing that we used yesterday was we had Torkoal Lilligant because those are both confirmed Pokemon to be in the game. So, Eruption, like, like, Fire, Terra Fire Eruption Torkoal with Choice Specs. We, we straight up just ran Terra Fire Eruption Torkoal with Choice Specs. And we ran Lilligant with Covert Cloak. And, like, after you Eruption, like, my opponent literally couldn't do anything about it. Like, yeah, they can fail the Torque Hole, but they have to make that read on turn one that the Lilligan is going to be Covert Cloak. And that's a really risky read to make sometimes. Because if you figure out the Torque Hole and the Lilligan does something else like Sleep Powder, like, that's not good for you. <laughs> so, um, it's kind of like a mind game. Covert Cloak is going to make some mind games, and it makes stuff like... It makes some some gimmicky stuff, like, like you know, like after you Eruption, it actually makes it better because you can... You can, you have a lot more control over what's going to happen. Um, yeah, so the last thing is really just anything with a strong spread move plus speed control because of Covert Cloak and Terrestrialization. Like, both of those things make that really good. You can run your Whimsicott if Whimsicott's in the game. Um, let's take Murkrow. You can run your Murkrow with Covert Cloak instead of Eviolite and get your Tailwind off without being able to be faked out um, and just go for it. Yeah, so those are the things I want to talk about. Um, is there anything that you think is going to just get better and in Gen 9 than it is now? <laughs> uh, I just kind of threw, get, threw together some stuff so I can, um, you know, get this out to the people. I, I didn't have more things to add, but I really wanted to make a video today. So if you guys have more things down in the comments that you want to leave me, I'll make another video. Like, it's not a big deal. We'll just do another one. We'll get to a redo. Um, but yeah, I think especially the first two, especially the Revelation Dance and Rattled, I think they have a lot of, um, just a lot of potential. Um, especially if Basculation gets good spread moves, like, you can just, you can run Surf, like, you can do beat up Surf and absolutely just destroy things, probably, because this, you can just run Modest, right? And now you're 167 after a weakness policy, you're doing nuts damage. Um... And you're fast, so like really fast surf, and then next turn you can switch into like storm drain and do like stupid stuff. I don't know. I think it's gonna be cool. <clears throat> it's probably gonna be one of the first things I test if Basque Legion is just in the decks naturally and we don't have to trade it in. Because we have to trade it in, I won't be able to do it. But Revelation Dance, that might be one of the first things I test too. I really like this. The idea that Revelation Dance can just become whatever your hit your terra type is is really interesting to me. Because like you could you could switch to a typing that Oricorio literally has no coverage for, and you don't even have to run Terra Blast. And you still have a good move outside of Terrestrialization. Yeah. Yeah, those are my thoughts. If you have any thoughts, like I said, leave them down in the comments. <laughs> um, leave me the likes, guys. Go ahead and subscribe. We're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Um, if I don't have to work full-time, full-time at my job anymore, I will make better and more content. Like, if I can go down to, like, part-time, part-time, then that would be fantastic. So, maybe not make that your motivation, but <laughs> subscribe to be an a Live fan. And with that, everybody, my name's Andrew. I'll catch you guys next time.
Thank you.